If someone's doing something bad, should we support them in it? No. If you have a drunk out here that refuses to get a job and he's panhandling for money, should you give him money so he doesn't have to work? No. Absolutely not. And in the same way, if somebody's partaking in Halloween, should you give them GMO candy? No. Support them in it? No, absolutely not. We shouldn't open our door to it. We shouldn't allow them in our house. That's right. You know, when I was 10 years old, I had a job delivering newspapers. Now, for those of you that don't know what a newspaper is, it's like if you printed out Facebook on a really big sheet, okay, or a website, and you fold it up, and then you roll it up, and you go door to door, all right, and you deliver the news, all right? That's what a newspaper is. But I remember as a 10-year-old that in the newspaper, they warned people about Halloween. They reported of the danger that was going on, how there was an increase of crime during the season of Halloween. Yeah. There was child abuse and kidnapping. They warned you to keep your, your pets inside and your children close. They warned you about poison inside of candy yeah. right. and shards of glass and razor blades yeah. and devil worship in the woods. Now look, this was a long time ago. I was only 10. But if they knew it, the world knew it back then that Halloween was dangerous. Why is it today a lot of Christians in their heart have to try to, well, I mean, it's not, is it, is it really that bad? Is it, is, it's okay, is it? No. The world knows it's evil. Christians have the Holy Spirit of God in them. They should know it's evil. They should have nothing to do with it. Amen. But greed gets you. Oh, man, there's all this free candy. <laughs> free candy overrides your logic, you know? And, you know, ultimately, what does it lead to? You enjoy it. You have fun as a child. And then when you grow up, you go to adult Halloween parties. Yep. Yeah. Lasciviousness, drunkenness, fornication, things that destroy families. Right. And it starts with a little bit of lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life. Look at me. I'm going to dress up like the coolest cat. Whatever it is. You know what I mean? I'm going to be, I'm going to have the best. It's pride of life. Right. That's how the devil gets you.